everybody. Welcome back to Shaquelle's YouTube channel. My name is Amanda. It's not Shaquelle. <laughs> Very confusing, I know. <laughs> My name is Amanda and I'm here today to give you a Raquel Welch gray extravaganza. And by that, I mean, I'm going to show you four of their popular gray colors in their heat friendly fibers. But before I jump into it, I'm going to remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay. So like I said, I have four different grays here from Raquel Welch and I have them in four different wigs. So it's very exciting. We can kind of look at a bunch of different styles and a bunch of different colors. However, today's focus is more on the color. So I'm not going to do like a deep dive in on reviews of these wigs. If you want to see actual reviews of these wigs, I've done reviews on most of the pieces that I'm sharing here today, just in different colors. So I can even link those reviews below here in the description. All right, let's start with the obvious, the one that is on my head right now. I'm wearing the wig called Portrait Mode. This is one of my very favorite bobs by Raquel Welch. It's just the most perfect little bob. <laughs> it's a monofilament top, lace front, a wefted cap it's just so cute but of course the color which is the main event here this is in the color rl119 which is called silver and smoke so essentially what this color is is sort of a light ash brown and it has what they say is 80 percent gray in the front so it's mostly gray in the front with the that light ash brown and then it graduates into about 50 percent gray in the nape so what that does it, it ends up giving you more of the brown at the nape as opposed to the gray. So you can see the difference there. So the nape of your neck, if we turn around, you're gonna see has more of the brown as opposed to the gray. You'll find more of the gray around your face, graduating more to the brown at the nape. Let me spin here so you can see the full color. And I'm going to go into the sunlight. I have some sunlight here in the corner. I'm going to turn this so we can see what this looks like in the sun. It's very, very bright. <laughs> Hopefully that gives you an idea. Oh, look, I can do half and half. Half sunlight, half not sunlight. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move you back over here so I'm not blinded by the light. And now I'm going to back up for you so you can see this at a distance. So this is a really natural gray, I find, just because it has all that light ash brown in it, it would be really great for, you know, a natural brunette who is sort of transitioning into that gray. Okay, the next color I want to show you guys is called RL51-61 Iced Granita. And this is in the uh, wig called Scene Stealer. It is such a popular and beautiful longer piece. And I'm so glad that they have the option of giving um, you know, a longer piece, the, a gray tone. So let me put this one on for you. So again, this color is called Iced Granita and this wig is Scene Stealer. I do have a review on Scene Stealer, so I will link it below. Okay, so Iced Granita is going to be a blend of sort of a light and medium gray. There's going to be some off white here and there's also going to be a bit of platinum. Um, and then to top it all off, there's just a hint of some light brown in here. There's not too much though, but there's enough there to sort of warm it up a little bit. Now, the one thing you will find with this color is that they bring that sort of pearly off white color forward right to the front. So there's lots of white in the front, as you can see here. So that really lightens up your face. And then they bring that gray into the nape so there's lots of gray at the nape it definitely is much darker at the nape than it is at the front look at that wow and you know what i actually find in some parts of this color i do find it to be similar ish in tone to this one right here um, however the biggest difference is going to be your front here because this front is going to give so much brightness because it has that white whereas the uh, silver and smoke doesn't have that much brightness in the front it's just more of the gray throughout so overall iced granita is going to be a bit of a lighter gray um, with that white in it 
then the silver and smoke is here. And then of course at the nape of the silver and smoke, it's going to be that light brown color. Here it is in the sunlight. And I'll back it up here. Whereas on iced granita, it's not necessarily a brown, it's more of a darker gray. And let me take this off so that you can see both side by side. So you can see how it does have similar tones of gray in it, but still silver and smoke looks darker than iced granita. Iced granita has that white, the pearly off white in the front. Silver and smoke does not. Silver and smoke has more of the brown in it, whereas iced granita has more gray at the nape. Okay, I'm gonna put these two down and I'm gonna take out another color for you. Okay, my next color for you is the color code RL56 slash 60 silver. So this is just gonna be a blend of light gray and like white highlights all throughout it. So there's not as many different colors in here. It's mostly just light gray and white. Um, let me put this on for you. This is going to be your lightest gray color um, before you're going white, of course. All right. So, of course, the white is coming forward in the front here, but you can't truly tell because it's just, there's a lot of white all over it, too. This will be lighter than Iced Granita RL51-61. It's lighter than this one. However, at the front, it's going to look similar because it has that um the white at the front too but overall silver is going to be lighter than iced granita and then silver does not have any of like the interesting things happening at your nape it's just all the same throughout the whole wig let me pop into the sunlight for this color ah! <laughs> look all the things i'm doing for you guys i'll get you more over here oh look there's my shadow <laughs> All right, hopefully this helps. In the sunlight, it looks um, more of like an off-white, but when we get into not sunlight, it is just more of like a light gray looking color. Okay, now we're gonna go to the biggest contrast of all. This is kind of your lightest gray. Now I'm gonna go to one of your more darker grays. Whoa, this is called RL511 Sugar and Charcoal. And really what this is, is your basic salt and pepper. It's gonna be sort of a dark gray and a white sprinkled throughout this whole thing. Let me put this on. Did I even tell you I was wearing Wavy Day? I can't even remember if I told you I was wearing Wavy Day. I am, <laughs> and I've done a review and she is linked below so you can take a better look at her. I'm sorry, my brain is sometimes all over the place and it forgets things. This one is Editor's Pick Elite. So the elite version means it is the hand tied cap, or I should say partially hand tied cap. There's no permatease on this one. It's a little bit lower density than your standard editor's pick. Um, and it's just, yeah, the cap is just a little bit more luxurious. All right, so again, this is RL511 Sugar and Charcoal. This is your basic salt and pepper color. So your dark, dark gray mixed with some white and sort of light gray sprinkled all throughout. And now what this color does too, is it brings a little bit of that lighter color forward. It's not a complete strip. It's not like a big money piece. It's just more, um, there's just, it's just more saturated. I should, I guess I should say with the lighter color at the front, but that's not to say that there isn't dark, um, the dark gray at the front either. It's a very good mix of both. Let me move into the sunlight for you. looks very like icy in the sun I see but that is direct sunlight it's gonna make anything look bright of course okay don't mind me in my room I actually just moved recently um and my uh room is just I'm still receiving furniture and my bed is like not set up and I don't really have an office so this is my office and it's um there's boxes of wigs everywhere I Apologize, but I mean, this is my life. <laughs> Not gonna try and <laughs> pretend I live some fancy office life. This is my life. I work from home and this is this is it. So anyways, besides the point, sugar and charcoal. I love this one. I do. Okay, I'm gonna show you this one in comparison 
to silver and smoke. Um, so obviously silver and smoke is much lighter. Does not have all this dark gray in it. So here's your difference. And then of course, I was mentioning how silver and smoke is more of a light brown, whereas this one has a dark gray. And since we're here, I'm just gonna pull out all these colors I showed so we can just see all of them together. So silver and smoke, uh, sugar and charcoal, uh, <laughs> ice granita, <laughs> and silver. So these three are the ones that are gonna be the most similar to each other. And I've gone from lightest to medium to the darkest, even though these two are very much more similar than the silver one, which is quite a bit lighter. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit. I know colors are so stinking tricky. They're the trickiest thing out of them all, I think, but this hopefully gives you a little bit of a better idea. Of what's going on with these grays? Grays, I wish there were more of them. I'm always getting asked to talk about grays and show grays, so I'm trying to do a little bit more of that. But what I really love about these ones that Raquel Welch has done is that they've given all of these gray options in their really beautiful, popular pieces. They're not just sticking grays on those really short pixie cuts. So that kind of gives options for older women who are um, wearing gray colors to not just have the pixie cuts. They can have these really fun, longer pieces if they want to. All right, I'm not gonna make you sit here all day watching me talk about colors. <laughs> so I will let you go. You are dismissed <laughs> to go enjoy the rest of your day. I hope it's a lovely day for you. If these are any piece, if there are any pieces here that you're interested in, then make sure you go check them out on our website, chiquelle.com, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada, or chiquelle.com.au if you are in Australia. But as always, thank you so much for being here and supporting me. I really appreciate you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.